guys, Christine here. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do another product review. And the product I'm going to review today is the Bello Sun Expert Perfecting Shield Tinted Sunscreen with SPF 50 PA++++. And this one I got from Watson's. Actually, I didn't get it. I asked my husband who went to the Philippines to get it for me because I've seen this all over like YouTube I watched some videos wherein they've you know applied this they said okay sha and all that so I wanna try it firsthand and I haven't really watched any like review videos although meron pero I don't wanna watch them because I want to have my own opinion and not be influenced by the other you know youtubers who reviewed this but at least firsthand yung opinion ko and all that Alright, so this is how it looks. So based on their package description, um, you're supposed to get a superior sun protection plus that flawless no makeup look for every day. You can use this alone for instant perfecting coverage or layer under your favorite foundation or powder. So for me, I would use this alone if I'm going to the beach. So pwede ko siyang gamitin or um, on a daily basis because I don't normally use foundation. I would just use some BB cream but then if this is really good I can also use this and not worry about applying SPF anymore because this has SPF 50 which is really high and really good especially the weather here in Australia is really hot now so this would really be helpful if it works now for under foundation say if I'm going to a party or I want my skin to look more flawless then I would use this as my base so that I'll still get that SPF 50 and, and then just stop it with my foundation. It has tone adapt technology that evens out skin tone, conceals fine lines, wrinkles, and other imperfections. Yes, I have those. So I have like mga marks on my face and I also have like wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. So yes, if it works, yes. Self protect, strengthen skin's defense against premature skin aging. And the good thing about this, it's paraben free, non comedogenic, hyperallergenic. Yes, I need that because my skin is super sensitive and it easily gets like rashes. Nikaka rashes ako right away if I, you know, apply something na hindi okay sa skin ko. Kaka rashes ako. Like today, I have some red, like, veins on my skin. And ayan, no? So hopefully, ma cover niya. Because this says na magandang coverage niya. Dermatologist tested siya. So this has 50 ml product. So which is, I think this will last really long. Depende sa coverage niya actually. If you want to use this as your primer, I think it'll last longer. If you're gonna use this as your SPF, it'll last longer. Pero if you're gonna use this para gusto mo magandang coverage, then tendency would be you'll apply more. So, mas maglis siyang maubos. It retails at 449.75, which is not, I would say not bad na rin for this type of packaging. Again, it really depends on how effective it's gonna be and yung mga benefits niya which is like parang for me I would say all in one na siya especially on days na sobrang mainit you don't want something thick on your face then tinted moisturizer is something that I would go for and yeah so let's go ahead and get started alright guys so this is my skin without any foundation or makeup and I've already applied my skincare, which is the toner, essence, and some moisturizer. Basically, all those skincare goodness. And that's why my skin looks really shiny right now. And for those of you guys who doesn't know, so I have sensitive and combination skin type. So my T-zone tends to get really oily. And then the parameters of my face, it's a bit dry. Let's go ahead and try this. So based on the instruction, it says I'm supposed to use my finger to apply this. There you go. Ayan. So this is in the shade medium to deep. Ayan. It's quite white actually. I'm gonna start and apply on this area first, like this side of my face, so that you can see the difference, okay? It actually smells good. Um, I mean, the, the scent is not strong, but it smells really good. So let's do this. 
Um, first off, it feels like parang moisturizer siya because hindi siya ayan oh, parang hindi siya na sink in kapag ina-apply ko siya. All right. So this is how it looks. There's some like super slight difference if you look at this side to this side. So it brightened this area. I'm going to add a bit more dito sa nose area ko because dito yung my discoloration. So I'm not sure if na notice nyo like when I was applying it, it's more of like applying moisturizer than foundation or like products na hindi siya yung kaagad na nagbe-blend with your skin. So you really have to like work hard and then siguro tap because if you like swipe nyo siya, hindi siya magaano sa skin mo. So you have to really tap it in. So that's one layer. I'm not sure kung makikita niyo yung difference. So this side over this side. Ito yung, ayan, sobrang red pa siya. And then this one, it's a bit, parang, it evened out the skin tone. There you go. So for me personally, if I'm going to the beach, say, magbibitch ako, I'll use one layer and I think this has nice coverage. Para siyang natural looking. Doesn't look like you have anything on your face, but still, you get that slight like very light coverage so for the purpose of this review i'm gonna apply another layer tingnan lang natin how it's gonna look if i apply another layer okay guys two layers and looks like it's buildable compared to earlier yung coverage niya mas okay siya now i would say mas gusto ko yung two layer na coverage niya if i like like i want fuller coverage i would go for two layers so it is buildable hindi naman siya yung nagmukhang parang cakey it still looks natural i would say yung shade niya medyo white sa akin no and the thing with this it doesn't feel sticky personally i don't like something na super sticky but then it also doesn't feel na super drying siya i you know if you can see medyo may glow pa siya sa face ko so parang natural lang siya and the the only drawback I would say at this point na napapansin ko is if you have dry patches, medyo may emphasize yan ng slight. Other than that, it lo it's looking nice. And may konting creasing siya, as you can see, over here. Ayan, nagka-crease siya dito sa aking eyelid. There you go! Now, I'm gonna go ahead and apply dito sa side na to naman. And I'm gonna try using a sponge. Let's say for those of you guys who doesn't want applying it using say your fingers so why not use a sponge try natin if maganda ba siya so i'm gonna try using this this is the real technique na sponge wet sponge let's see how it will look parang nasuck in niya yung product na ubus na <laughs> so ayan look at that nasuck in na niya lahat ng product agad so i don't think it's nice <laughs> let's try it ka nga I'm gonna try and do this and then let's see if I use this to like just tap it in. Kung okay ba siya. Ayan. Alright, better. Alright, so this part I use the sponge to apply the product. So if you use the sponge, the tendency is it'll suck in the product. So you have to spread it first and then just parang go over it lightly just to make sure na even yung application mo if don't, you don't want to use your fingers. So that uh, maganda yung pagka-apply niya in the coverage. Because if you just like dab it in and then use your sponge to spread the product, tendency would be your sponge will suck in all the product. So yun. Alright, so if you prefer using the sponge, you'll get a lighter coverage compared to if you use your fingers. Now this area, I'm gonna use a brush. I know, I wanna try everything so that it'll give you guys option to choose from if ano yung better although they recommended that you use your fingers so let's try and use the brush all right so that's one layer using a brush and so far i think it looks okay not bad when you compare it with um this side when i used my fingers to apply the first layer hindi nagkakalayo so i'll do another layer using the brush applying the second layer on this side and looks like okay siya. So I would say you can either use your fingers or use a like foundation brush to apply the product because mukhang same lang yung coverage na nabibigay niya for you. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, done applying the rest of my makeup and I actually don't have plans to go out today but it's quite hot today. It's around 30 something degrees I believe. Let me just check. So right now it's 31 degrees Celsius here in Adelaide so it's quite warm. And medyo pinagpapawisan ako ng slide kasi hindi naka-on yung AC. Right, so on to this tinted sunscreen. So far so good when I applied the rest of my makeup. It didn't move. Like especially when I, I contoured and applied some bronzer. And as you can see now, I'm looking a bit glowy on my T-zone area. That's my oiliest area. So I think it's because it's really hot now. But I don't mind looking a bit glowy. It doesn't look super greasy at all. So for me, this is like a healthy glow. So yeah, let me just quickly zoom you in so you guys can see. Right now, so on to the last one, which is the wear test. Of course, we all want to know how long this will last on the skin. So therefore, we're doing the wear test. So right now, it is 1.50 in the afternoon and I only plan to walk icy later. We'll be able to test how long this will last on the skin. So yeah, I'll be right back later. See ya! Alright guys, I'm back and this is gonna be my final update on this tinted sunscreen. As you can see, ayan, medyo oily siya. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see kung ano yung itsura niya up close. So there you go. Yung parameters ng face ko, again, it's hindi siya dry, pero medyo oily din siya, ayan. Nafe-feel ko yung oiliness. Tapos, the T-zone, especially, super oily siya. And dito sa nose ko, because of the build-up ng mga oil, it's like medyo don't have any product here anymore and i've noticed na medyo naggather na yung mga products on my chin area and the t-zone because of the oil which normally happens to me and earlier i did some retouch and ito yung nakikita nyo ba to yeah so buong buo siya and now i have one clean one so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys kung gaano pa kadami yung makuha kong oil So that looks way better now. Alright, so here you go. Ito yung mga nakuha ko. And looks like super oily ng skin ko. So you should always have oil control with you. So that you can just get the oil out of your skin. Although this tinted sunscreen doesn't say naman na it has any oil control. So that's something to watch for when you're using this. So if you're oily like me, as in I'm super oily, then that's something to watch out for. So yun, walang oil control tong tinted sunscreen na to. So will I use this product pa? Yes, I'll use this product pag magbibitch ako and as a base, but not on its own. Just because hindi niya nakakontrol yung production ng oil sa face ko. I have really, really weird skin. So, it might work for some of you, but if you have the same type of skin as I have, yun. Nakita nyo naman, I've used like two and sobrang punong-puno ng oil. So, yeah! That's it guys! Thank you for watching. I hope nag-enjoy kayo and you find this review helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys! See you on my next video!